Welcome to Pocket Wheel Lock Picking and Lock Sport. Today is Lockout Tag Out Lock Tuesday, hashtag it, Follow Lock Tuesday, the day we feature the locks that keep our workers safe. We explode and we explore and we pick and we talk about and we show them off. We do all sorts of stuff. Put the hashtag Lotto Lock Tuesday, we can find your videos. You don't have to post them on a Tuesday, post them any day. Just that we go looking for them on a Tuesday. Now today's locks are these two lockout tag out locks from Lockwood. The 214A and the 215A. Now these locks were lent to me by Keyless Entry. Go check him out on YouTube, an excellent picker, great mate. I've had a loan of these so that I can do this comparison video. So that's what we're going to do today. Now I've made a key for these. Now the 214. That's our bidding. And the 215. That's our bidding. So they were fun to make. Very interesting. Okay, so let's get started. We've got a lot to get through. Hopefully I can get through it in 15 minutes. Let's see how we go. So, the 214. Let's start off with the body. The 214 and the 215. Now, the logos. They're the same. All good there. The depth of the logo on this one has been deeper stamped than the 215, but you get that. Now there's been a change in the body width because they have been ground down, they were on a display board. So the body width is 214 is 18.9mm, the 215 18.7mm. The weight of these the 214 is 160 grams, the 215 164 grams. Now the height, which is from here to here, the 215, no, 214 is 52.3, the 215 is 52.11. The materials are both aluminium. Okay, let's go with the shackle. Both stainless steel. Yep. Now the 214 is 4.98mm. The 215 is 6.35mm. The height from here to here on the 214 is 19.82mm. The height from here to here, the shackle height is 18.75 on the 215. Let's check out the snaps. 214, very nice. The 215, very nice. Okay, so the only thing left to do now, we've checked out the outside, is to check out the core. Let's open them up. Now they've only got little, very little screws. Okay, let's keep them all together so we don't mix them up. Same size screw on both. Have a look at it. Yep. Okay, all right, let's go with the paws. What have we got? Brass and brass. Very nice. Actuators. Both brass. Let's get some, let's get some zooming in things on here. Yep, 
both brass, both have the, the pin for key retaining. Yep, in the lock position. Looks like they both have the same profile of the Bible cover. Alright, let's do some let's do some measurements. Okay. Bible two one four is twenty seven point ten. Two and five twenty six point nine eight. Okay, what's our width? Four point one three on the two and five. Four point oh eight two and four. Okay, what else do we need to know? Okay, let's go with let's try and keep them in order. Okay, let's go with the size 15.34 width on the two on four. Fifteen point three five width on the two and five. Did we do the length? Yep. Okay, what else do we need to know? Okay. Let's pull them apart. Jim. Jim in. Jim in. Okay, five populated. Let's just keep that like that for a minute. Five populated. Six pin cores, five populated. Okay, let's do that for a minute. Okay, the two on four. Let's see the difference. Two on four has no drill protection holes. Two 
215 does and they're not populated interesting look how deep you had to pick those no wonder I couldn't pick them it's truth look at the 215 okay so Here's our pause. So they look pretty much the same. It's still measurement. 12.65, 215, 214. Gee, I'm going to keep getting this mixed up, aren't I? 215. 12.68 Okay, the bottle, the bottle cover 215 34.7 Bottle cover 214 34.52 Alright, let's have a look at the key pins Okay, two on four. Yep, we've got the bevel. Two on five. Got the bevel. Both brass. Okay. Now, obviously, I've seen the key pins because I've made the keys for them, right? But I haven't seen inside the Bible. So, this is going to be a surprise. So, let's start with the 214. I'm going to do flashy camera work here. Okay, what have we got here? They don't look like they've got a bevel on them, do they? Six isn't populated. No springs on them, they're not they're popping up nicely. Okay, let's just dump these springs out. All right. 
out. We've got some shy ones, that's okay. Let's move on to the other one. Now for the two on five. Have a closer look on that. Uh, I might have a better one. I'm not sure. We'll have a closer look in a minute. Okay, so the little brush. Dump the spins out. They come out a lot better. They're stubby little things. They look like they're steel. That's the last one. Let's find out what's going on here. It's still in there. Okay. Come on, who else? Okay, that one doesn't want to come out. Might be stuck on the bottle cap. Okay, there we go. And yes, my um, spring get out of tweezers are zip remover thingies. But they're quite handy. Alright, let's adjust this lighting. Let's bring you up for a close up. So that's the 215. to two one four. So the springs uh, look the same. The two and five look a bit darker. But yep, there we go. So I think I've covered everything except the actuator. The actuator plate down there is brass. And down here is brass, and the spring is brass. Wow. Let's try and get some focus. Hello, camera. All right. So there you have it. The 214 and the 215A. Lockout tag out locks from Lockwood. Thank you very much to Keyless Century for the loan of these locks. Lock out, tag out, lock Tuesday. Hashtag out, lotto lock Tuesday. Go check out all the videos. Support all the pickers who are giving these lotto locks a go. Stay legal. Temptation is everywhere.